Hey everybody, Schwazy here, and today we're at the LA Auto Show, and we came across this 2024 Chevy Traverse. And I wanted to give you a quick exterior interior walk around, show you some of the features here. This is the RS trim level, which stands for Rally Sport, and that means it's kind of the sporty accents to us. So it's the same exact engine, same exact powertrain, but it has some of those touches that make this look a little bit sportier. Now starting off at the front end, you got LED daytime running lights across the top, and you get your headlights actually located down here. Uh, also, you'll notice a lot of these black accents all throughout, including that big front grille. It's all black accents with the RS badging. Even your Chevy logo is blackened out because this is the RS trim level. And I would say overall from the front end, it's a really striking looking vehicle, especially in this radiant red color. I personally picked this color because it looks really nice. Now, coming across the side of the vehicle, this thing is sitting on 22 inch wheels. They're gloss black, they look really nice. And then you have this you know, blackened out trim piece across it. It's very shiny, looks really good with that red color. Uh, moving further backwards, you'll see the Traverse badge is blacked out because of the RS trim level along with the mirror caps. And then the side of the vehicle, you know, you've got this body line that extends down across the bottom and a slight body line that extends across the top, giving it kind of a more sporty stance. And then you've got this uh, D-pillar that kind of turns into the rear windshield, giving it uh, more kind of sportier look to it, squatted down. This definitely looks a little bit different than the um, outgoing Chevy Traverse that I reviewed on my channel a little bit ago. This one looks uh, more modern, more up-to-date with some of uh, other Chevy products in terms of their design language. Now, coming towards the back of the vehicle, this is where I would say the biggest difference is, is the rear tail lights. They kind of have this uh, almost like a Chevy EV uh, blazer type of look to it where you got the LED running light over here and then another one down here. This one doesn't have the accessory unit on so I can't show you what it looks like with the LED lights on but it looks pretty good overall. You got your quad exhaust tips down here because again this is the sporty trim level, the blackened out uh, badging and then you got your blackened out Chevy logo as well. But let's climb inside. Let me show you what the interior looks like of the new Traverse. All right, jumping inside the Traverse, let's start off with the seats. These are uh, perforated leather seats that look really nice. You got that red uh, contrast stripe down in the middle and then the contrast stitching. Uh, very beautiful looking and I like the way they look in this RS trim level specifically. You got RS embossed on it. Now starting with the door panel, that's where it gets a little bit interesting because of the red accent trim piece that you have all across the side. Uh, and it actually goes into the dash as well. But starting off, the door panel has soft touch materials up top. You got leather stitching down where the armrest is. And at the very bottom, you have your Bose audio system along with a little cup holder compartment. Now climbing inside is where it gets even more interesting with that red trim piece that extends all the way underneath the screen onto the driver's side. It's something I haven't seen on other RS trim levels, but I like how it looks. You've got this aluminum trim piece on the passenger side. This is all soft touch material across the dash. It's a little bit on the harder side, but it is an injection molded plastic, which is nice. And then let's talk about the screens here. You got an 11 inch instrument gauge cluster display that looks pretty decent. I've shown it off in other GM and Chevy products. Then you have a 17.7 inch diagonal display. This is actually the same that's in the Blazer EV. Uh, and I like how it actually goes right across into this edge, giving it kind of this curved shape to it. Really advanced over here. I've always liked uh, GM and Chevy software. Now I can't actually turn it on to show you all of the features, but at least you can see what the screen looks like with it being on. Now this one does come equipped with Chevy's optional Super Cruise system, which is 400,000 highway miles of pretty much hands-free driving. On the left-hand side of the steering wheel, you got your cruise control functionality. You got your Chevy emblem over here blacked out. On the right-hand side is how you'll control the gauge cluster display. And then this one being the RS trim level, you got some RS badging down here. Now I do wish they had some red stitching over here on the steering wheel to give it a little bit of a sportier look, but it does have a flat bottom design. Now this being the RS trim level, you also get a heated steering wheel and you also get heated and ventilated front seats. Uh, the RS trim level is typically a little bit better equipped than some of the other trim levels. On the left hand side of the steering wheel, you got your parking brake, different drive modes, and you can activate your all wheel drive mode. Below this large screen, you got two air vents, physical controls for your climate controls. Down here, you have a wireless charging pad, two USB ports, and a cigarette style power outlet. Moving further back, you got two cup holders, little storage compartment over here that you can actually close up and then a soft touch armrest. Opening this up, you got a pretty large compartment and you got a slot for an SD card. Above you, you have your rear view digital camera mirror along with a little sunglass holder, your typical lighting controls, and then you've got a large panoramic sunroof. Now let's climb into the second row, show you what that looks like. Now jumping into the second row, same nice use of materials on the door panel. You got soft touch material where you're gonna rest your elbow, window switches down there, and then little compartment down here with your premium Bose audio system grill. 
style. Now climbing inside, same nice use of materials and same design as you find on the first row in terms of these seats. I like that red stripe down the middle and the contrast stitching on the seat cushion. Now these are obviously adjustable. You just pull on this handle, you can move the seat back. Climbing inside, you got this captain's chair set up. Pretty good leg room in the second row. You got your own climate control settings over here, along with your heated seats for the passenger and driver side. Down here, you got some USB ports, along with a household power outlet and a little storage compartment down here where you can store some valuables. Up here, you got two cup holders, and there's a view out that dual pane sunroof. You also have your climate control settings up here, along with some LED lighting. And then climbing into the third row is really easy to do. You just hold this button, and the entire seat will move forward. You can still keep a car seat in there. And there's a view into the third row. Now, Chevy says you have a class leading 98 cubic feet of space inside of the vehicle, and that's very similar to the outgoing Traverse. It always had some of the most amount on a cargo room for a three row mid-size crossover. You got two cup holders over here along with a USB port, but this is all hard touch plastic material. Luckily your headroom is pretty good because you have a pretty boxy shape. And then you got two air vents located up here as well. And then climbing into the trunk area, plenty of space behind that third row. That's again an advantage to having an above average size for a mid-size crossover. Tons of space underneath. And then you can actually raise and lower the third row seats and you can lower the second row seats just using those buttons there. And you have a cigarette style power outlet as well. And lastly, under the hood here, you have an all new 2.5 liter turbocharged four cylinder that produces 328 horsepower and 326 pound feet of torque. Also, towing capacity on this is a maximum of 5,000 pounds. Well, there you have it, folks. That was the 2024 Chevy Traverse RS. What are your thoughts on the all-new Traverse? Definitely has class-leading amount of cargo volume. Also, has pretty striking styling. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. If this is your first time stopping by, make sure you hit that like button and check out all the other videos. Also, find me on all the social media at Schwazy underscore. Until next time, everybody, I hope you stay Schwazy, stay healthy, have a wonderful day.